One of the biggest things that people aren't aware of about childhood cancer is that it takes the lives of more kids in the United States than any other disease. It really impacts a lot of people and a lot of families in the United States and worldwide, hundreds of thousands of kids are impacted every year. We never realized that until, until our daughter was diagnosed. Alice Lemonade Stand Foundation is an organization that works in the childhood cancer space and our mission is to help childhood cancer families and our ultimate goal is to fund research that finds new cures for kids with cancer. Some of the biggest challenges we have in finding cures is really in finding targets that we can treat within the cancer. So as, as childhood cancer research has moved forward, targeted treatments is the wave of the future because childhood cancer treatments historically have hurt the kids while they're trying to cure the cancer. And so finding targets for these hard to treat cancers has been a real challenge. One of the things I'm very passionate about is understanding rare pediatric cancers. And so one of the challenges with that is when you have sequencing data from patients in the clinic and you're not sure what the gene is that's actually causing the cancer. I got connected with um, Alex's Lemonade Stamp Foundation, who's been supportive of my research both through grants and through the CCDL. And one of the things I found is that you can actually take human cancer genes and insert them into the zebrafish genome and they'll develop cancers that look identical to the patient's disease. And this is really important because we can now apply these models to understand the biology and the why of how these tumors are developing so that we can create or identify better therapeutic opportunities that we can implement in the clinic. It's important to have partnerships and the tools that the corporate world has for us to be able to do our job more efficiently. The fact that we can use the AWS tools um, just when we need to compute, you know, makes us able to do things that we otherwise couldn't afford to do. Ultimately, what that does is it's going to put tools in the hands of childhood cancer researchers that they wouldn't have access to. And this is especially true with our Refine.bio tool. With Refine.bio, the idea is to take those millions of publicly available samples, uniformly process them, and make them available to researchers in a transparent fashion. So instead of looking to reprocess data themselves, the idea is folks can navigate to Refined Up Bio, identify data sets that are most relevant for the research question, and then download those and have a set of files within a matter of minutes. With the Childhood Cancer Data Lab, I think they're on the cutting edge of it's gonna help researchers find these targets. And then just making researchers aware that they can essentially increase the number of hours in a day by using our tools because it makes them more efficient and they can use that time to do, to do more research and find cures. One thing I'm excited for with Refined Up Bio moving forward is using the compendia to learn representations of human gene expression data that we can then transfer to pediatric cancer data sets and really dig into the molecular processes occurring in tumors in a way that we couldn't before.